Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Dutch Gaming, and the first update on the Rain of Arrows Raider. Uh, what I thought I'd do to start out the video, we'll just go through my level really quickly um, and how I've got on. So I'm level 85, I'm still on a 5 link, and I haven't got Uber Lab done. I'm just going to go and finish this map, it's a corrupted T12. The reason I'm halfway through it is I started recording this video, then my wife come home needed help with the shopping, and um, so obviously she stopped the recording, and then I thought, well, I don't want to stitch it together, so we'll just start the video again, and then I'll finish the map. Um, I've only killed a few monsters. Uh, so it's on a five link at the moment. So it's not ideal. We're still precise technique. But it's holding up really, really well. So we'll go into the map. Um, so it's obviously corrupted because I want it for completion. So it's fizzes extra. Two bosses. Uh, power charge on hit. Uh, cooldown recovery. So it ended up not too bad to be fair for um, a corrupted map. And we got frozen by an apparition. Always nice. Okay. And I'm really enjoying the changes done to the rare monsters. You do get some horrible ones, granted. That's what I hate. <laughs> keep getting, keep running into that thing. So we'll see how this monster's going to be with uh, this Fizzes Extra. It could kill us if it hits us and gets through our evasion, but... Yeah, Almond Amin would be nice. I'm definitely struggling. And I was deathless until I had to do the... Uh, eat a mini boss which I absolutely hate it's so broken uh, he basically wouldn't come out from under the ground and he just covered the whole arena with poison um, so I couldn't actually go anywhere because he was refusing to come out of his involved phase did that twice I ended up losing three lives on it which is annoying so I was halfway through a level um, and then I've just popped this map in and there we are now I've started taking blight on the map device because I think it might be a money maker not on the map device sorry on the atlas tree um, all I've got so far is just chance for blight to turn up I don't know if this is the ideal map to do it in, but we will try. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. Rubbish. So I've taken shrines to help with the uh, clear. No idea what to take there. Both looked rubbish. Probably shouldn't have took increased evasion, to be fair, but... Uh, so, we're going to do, like, I think it's going to be a total failure, especially on this map. It's quite open. But, we'll go ahead. Why not? The firefight... Ah, oh, stun immune. That is a bit of a shame, but hey-ho. So, if we go here, then here, and then we'll build some chill towers. Uh, and then I can't build another tower, so we might as well let this roll. Uh, build a lightning tower. <laughs> One thing that is noticeable in Harvest, everything, um, Blight as well, is it is easier without the full-on Arch Nemesis and all. Like, you are still going to get horrible ones, but less often. And it definitely feels a lot better. Like in the old league, I'd have already failed this encounter. Like, without a doubt. It wouldn't even have been close. And we actually cleared it. I did not think we would clear that on a five link, but we did. Awesome. Okay, so. We'll just go and loot this. Uh, oh, Villa. We've not done Villa. We'll hope for a black oil, and then we can get an anoint going. We didn't get one. But we got some oils. We got a cow. So I'm happy with that. Um, so that went really well. I'm now actually quite happy that I picked Blight because there's still so many upgrades to do on this character. Um, I've pretty much just been concentrating on the bow. Um, and my gloves, everything else is just junk I found on the... Well, it's not junk, but stuff I found on the ground. Is that a box? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, there's two of them in there. This could be bad. With the fizzes extra, this is looking really bad. If he hits me again, I'm dead. Oh, he's got lightning strike. Hey, he hasn't got two projectiles. What the f***? He's got all of them. This game is f***ing rigged. Two projectiles you should have. All right, let's just kite him, see if he can hit us with it. He can. <laughs> okay, we got him down. That is so rigged. Enemies get old legacy lightning strike. So I've really, really enjoyed it and it is 
definitely surpassed my expectations. I knew it would be good and I know I'd enjoy it, but it has been so smooth. The gear I've wanted has not been particularly expensive. Um, so what we'll do is run through the Atlas tree first. And it is, as I said, it would be in my videos. <laughs> the cats are making a lot of noise. Um, it's going to be all the Kirat nodes, map sustain, shrines, John, and then we've gone into Blight as well. And then it's just all of the essence and shrine nodes. Come on. Come on. This might keep it quiet. It probably won't. They don't like being held particularly. Um, yeah, so it's essence, shrines, lots and lots of maps and Kirat nodes. And then I'm going to go and get all of the Blight nodes and see how I get on. And then Atlas completion is 60 out of 132. So just getting on to halfway, which is really nice. In terms of gear, the bow is uh, fractured, cost me 22 chaos to get the base. I used three uh, Shrieking Essences of Wrath to hit this, uh, which was lucky. I was just looking for damage and crafted attack speed, but I hit attack speed anyway. Um, so I crafted double damage. Uh, helmet I found on the floor. I've, I've, you drop quite a lot of fractured bases still. Um, and this was, you know, pretty decent. So I thought I would keep it and then I can craft on it. Um, it still needs recrafting, but for now it's fine. Uh, the amulet I purchased for 5 chaos. Early on, though, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't pay 5 chaos for this now. It's not particularly good. I just wanted something to sort my attributes out. Um, the quiver, uh, I actually ID'd this. It's not brilliant. It just had the resistances I need to cap uh, my resists. Uh, the chest I bought before I finished the campaign, I think I bought it in Act 9. Um, I paid 3 chaos for it, I think. It might have been 2. And then I have crafted it with one low level essence um, to give life. The rings are just life and resistances, but they both got chaos resistance on, which is quite nice. Uh, the gloves are my biggest purchase. They were 25 chaos and they came like this. So it had the implicits and it had all these stats. I thought they were a bargain. So I'll pick them up. Three step assault boots for when we go almond immune, which would be Uber Lab, but we've not had um, a trial yet. And then this I just ID'd. It's a pretty decent belt. Nothing amazing, but it does the job. And then my bog standard set up a flask when it's precise technique of sulfur, granite, jade, and quicksilver. Again, I'll just reiterate, roll your flask. It makes a massive difference. Um, in terms of defensive, we're mostly evasion, but we do have some armor. Um, so when we actually put our flask on, we're not we're 31.8 evasion and 7.3k armor. So it's pretty tanky, to be fair. I said I've not died in maps. I've just died three times to the annoying eater mini boss. Um, but obviously that's going to change as we start doing. Uh, red corrupted maps i have no doubt at all that we're going to start taking some deaths um so links wise it's inspiration ellie damage mirage trinity and rain of arrows and i've just got a four link ballista of inspiration focus ballista gmp and then artillery ballista um, and then it's just auras with a flame dash and then a vile haste here that i need to get used to proccing all the time um, for some reason i keep forgetting um, so we'll just dump all this in the stash. So how have I been making my money? Well, I have spent, I would say, 60 chaos, and I've still got 73. Most of that has come from essences. They are in insane demand at the moment. I think I'm selling Shrieking Essences of Dread for 9 chaos. Any of these um, damaged ones um, here, the Essences of Anger, and they're Shrieking, they go for 2 to 3 chaos in bulk. Loathing also go for a lot. So if we upgrade this here... Oh, I didn't mean to upgrade it all the way. That was a massive mistake. That was uh, wasted money. So a definite one on its own is eight. I have a feeling shrieking ones are probably about five. So I definitely shouldn't have done that. Um, even if you look at ones like Zeal that are normally really, really cheap, at least out there, still two chaos if you want them in bulk. Um, if you want crit multi, these are probably one. No, they're two as well. So all the essences are worth money. Uh, if you look at greed, four chaos for these. So in fact, if they're four chaos, or three, they're three. I'm going to sell these because I don't need them at the moment um, because prices are only ever going to come down. So I will list a few of my essences up. I don't think I've got any more that are worth money. I mean, we've got the one angle. one. so these angle ones are already three chaos and that's just for shrieking. So you run into a map that's got an essence and it's got an angle one, it duplicates it. That's six chaos from that one essence monster. It is pretty ludicrous. In terms of the league, I'm, I'm really enjoying it, but I haven't done much with the league mechanic. I've done like a few runs in maps. It seems okay. There just seems to be some bullshit bits. Like there seems to be this ice enemy that does um like a range attack, but it, I swear it auto targets and I don't really understand how you dodge it. There's not any 
necessary big Q is going to do it. I assume you have to hide behind a wall or something, but that bit's quite annoying. Um, and just in general, it definitely favours um, characters that can keep moving. So totems, mines. Um, I don't know about minions. I have no idea how that works. But yeah, totems and mines and things like that because you just drop your totems and then you run around and stay safe. Um, so I think for this sort of build, it's not bad because it's so quick. So in the rooms where you get find the exit, you can literally just run straight to the exit because the traps are too slow. Um, but in other ones where, you know, you have to stand still to do damage, you can lose a bit of resolve. But I don't have any of the relics or anything yet other than the starting one. So the idea is to clear Atlas and then start testing out. If I'm honest, I'm waiting for Grimroad to bring a video out to say how good it is. Um, and then we'll go from there. So that's another rest that's sold. Yeah, so there's not much to go through. My money making is essences. It is insane at the moment. Whether it stays that, I don't know. But because I've nerfed crafting, it's the best way to craft. So essentially, they're probably going to stay at a relatively good value. I mean, they're not going to be like 8C for a deafening for long. But I can see these essences being at least two chaos for a long time for all of the shrieking ones. Um, that's about it for the update. There's not a lot. People just asked if I could bring a video out to show I was getting along. So I've done the map showcase. I've showed the build. Um, and there's not much more. So I'm going to go and hopefully get Uber Lab done. Um, I might even have to buy um, the key to get an Uber Lab because I've not seen one trial. I don't know if it's bugged. I've not seen a trial in a map at all. Um, I don't know if I need to do something to activate them. But um, yeah, it's not been good. So we need to get that done. And then we need to save up and buy a six link, which as you can see, the currency just goes up and up and up. So I can't see that being too much of an issue. Um, that's it for this video be another update tomorrow thanks for watching and see you in the next one